বিসমিল্লাহির রহমানির রহিম মাই ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্টস অফ অনার্স প্ল্যাটফর্ম হাউ আর ইউ ডুইং ইন মাই টু ডেজ ক্লাস আই উইল রিসাইড দ্য পোয়েম আই ফেলট এ ফিউনারল ইন মাই ব্রেইন অ্যান্ড লেটার আই উইল আই উইল টেল ইউ দ্য অ্যানালিসিস অফ দ্য পোয়েম অ্যান্ড অলসো টেল ইউ দ্য এলিগোরিকাল সিগনিফিকেন্স অফ দিস পোয়েম and let me begin by reciting the poem i felt a funeral in my brain i felt a funeral in my brain and mourners to and fro kept treading treading till it seemed that sense was breaking through and when they all were seated and surfaced like a drum kept beating beating till i thought my mind was going numb and then i heard them lift a box a creak across my soul with those same boots of lead again then a space began to toll as the heavens were pale and being but an ear and i and silence some strange rays wrecked solitary here and then a plank in reason broke and dropped down and down and hit a world at every plunge and finished knowing then and let me now tell you an analysis of this poem according to the remarks of most critics i felt a funeral in my brain is about death we see it as a dramatization of men- mental anguish or pain leading to psychic disintegration and the final sinking into a protective numbness like the portrayal in the poem after great great pain but the poem is difficult to interpret or explain in the poem after great pain the funeral elements are subordinate to a scene of mental suffering but in this poem that is i felt a funeral in my brain the whole psychological drama is described as if it were a funeral this funeral is a symbol of an intense suffering that threatens to destroy the speaker's life but at last destroys only her present unbearable consciousness the poem offers no hints about the cause of her suffering although her self torment seems stronger than in after great pain the fourth line is especially difficult for the phrase breaking through in regard to mental phenomena usually refers to something becoming clear and interpretation which does not fit the rest of the poem if sense is taken as paralleling the plank in reason which later breaks the breaking through can mean to collapse or shatter the formal and treading mourners probably represent self accusations strong enough to drive the speaker to its madness but she is slow in getting there the service continues the coffin like box symbolizing the death of the accused self that can no longer 
endure torment. Now the whole universe is like a church with its heavens a bell, unable to escape from her terrifying consciousness. She feels as if only she and the universe exist. All sounds pour into her silence. This is a condition close to madness, a loss of self that comes when one's relationship to people and nature feels broken. An individuality becomes a burden. At last, the desired numbness arrives. Reason, the ability to think and know, breaks down, and she plunges into an abyss. The wells she strikes as she descends her are past experiences. Both those she would want to hold on to and those that burden her in with pain. Then she loses, loses consciousness and is presumably, presumably at some kind of peace. The poem's regular rhythms work well with their insistent ritual and the repeated trochaic words Treating, treating, and beating, beating, oppose the iambic meter, adding a rocking quality. And now, my dear students, let me tell you the allegorical significance of this poem. I felt a funeral in my brain represents rather disturbing portrayal of death. It contains a detailed account of a complete funeral as felt through the ebbing sensations of a dead person. The poem borders on the morbid in portraying the terrible struggle that the separation of the body from the soul produces or manufactures. There is no hope of immortality in the poem, only a despairing plunge into the eternal abyss. Still, the funeral service is not merely exploited for sensational effects. It has an allegorical significance. The physical death symbolizes spiritual death and perhaps a momentary insight into the nature of infinity. The opening stanza sets the tone of the poem. The scene begins with the mourners walking past the exposed body before the actual funeral service begins. The atmosphere is oppressive and incessant treading of feet seems physically to torment the brain. In the next stage, the mourners are seated and the funeral begins. The formality of the ceremony penetrates the soul like throbbing drums to induce a drugged weariness. In the third stage, Bolts of lead trample across her soul as the coffin is closed and carried to the church. Then a space began to toll and the bell sounding in the background temporarily thrust her into infinity. The tension increases as the body is carried to the grave the bells obliterate all other sensations, casting the soul upon eternity itself. But without hope of resurrection, reeling under these continual blows, the soul experiences complete disintegration with the tumbling of the casket into the grave. 
the whales finished knowing complete the loss of conscious control of the soul moves into the irrational unknown into the indifferent universe my dear students this is a wonderful poem on the topic of death and immortality and i hope that you will enjoy reading the poem and with this wish let me uh, wrap up my discussion for today thank you very much